These football icons have never won the Champions League. Today, each of these extraordinary players will be represented by a youth academy talent in our fantasy team as we aim to finally secure the ultimate trophy in club football. We are starting with one of the best German players of all time, a world champion and a Ballon d'Or winner Lothar Matthäus. He was so close to finally lay his hands on the trophy in 1999, as Bayern led Manchester United 1-0. But United made a famous comeback to win 2-1 with two of the most epic and dramatic last-minute goals in the UCL history. Ironically, Matthäus retired in 2000 and Bayern won the Champions League the following year. To exactly reproduce sweeper role on the pitch, we are going to scout for a playmaker center back and we have found this guy Phil Kramer with somewhat low market value and decent potential. He is a 55 rated center back with great passing and good dribbling already. He can do the job for us for sure. Next player is a keeper. One of the greatest goalkeepers in football history, Gianluigi Buffon reached the Champions League final three times with Juventus and lost them all in 2003, 2015 and 2017. He even moved to a PSG to win the trophy, but it deluded him yet again in Paris in 2020. To represent Gigi in our team, we got Gabriele Battaglia with 1.5 million euros market value and up to 94 potential. He is 62 rated and has been directly promoted to the senior team immediately, which is by the way pretty awful right now and is starting its way up from the bottom of English divisions. One of the unluckiest players to never win the Champions League is Zlatan himself. He played 124 games in the competition, scoring 48 times. In 2009, he moved from Inter Milan to Barca, who was the current trophy holders at that time. That same season, Jose Mourinho's Inter eliminated Barca in the semi-finals on their way to winning the 2009 and 10 Champions League. He moved away from Barca after one season only, and Barca took yet another trophy home in 2011. What is that luck? Anyways, a person is born. I mean, your person will represent Zlatan in our fantasy team. 2.1 million market value and great potential on him. He is already 66 rated. And look at his stats. He does look as a phenomenal cam with that dribbling. But we are going to let his position untouched, of course. Another Ballon d'Or winner in our team. Pavel Nedved won his ultimate award in 2003. The year when Juventus managed to reach the UCL final. But the best player of that team, Pavel, missed it because of the booking in the second semi-final against Real Madrid. What a difference Pavel Nedved could have made in that final. To represent him in our team, we got Branislav Kovar with decent market value and good potential. He is only a 57 rated left midfielder and I think we can live with that for now. First, actual defender in our team is Gianluca Zambrotta. <laughs> At this rate, we can create a Juventus past and present team. A brilliant fullback with a great attacking capabilities. He will be represented by Samuele Valente in our team. A 60 rated right back whom we are going to convert to play on the opposite flank. Another iconic Italian defender, Fabio Cannavaro, won the Ballon d'Or after captain in Italy to win the 2006 FIFA World Cup. Although he played for several top clubs, he never went beyond the semi-finals in the UEFA Champions League. And we got this talent for Cannavaro, Angelo Morelli with 1.7 million market value and up to 94 potential. He is already 65 rated center back, which is perfect for our team. Next player in our fantasy team is also an Italian, a World Cup winner who became the oldest goal scorer in the Champions League history when he netted against CSKA Moscow at the age of 38 years and 59 days. Francesco Totti spent his entire career for Roma and never made it beyond the last eight in the Champions League. Another promising talent Maurizio Fabri is going to represent Totti in our team. A 64 rated center forward with great attacking capabilities is exactly what we needed. Next up let's fill out our midfield with some talent. Patrick Vieira is regarded as one of the greatest midfielders of all time. The 1998 World Cup and Euro 2000 winner never advanced further than the quarterfinals doing so with Arsenal in 2001 and 2004. Worse still, he left for Manchester City in January when Inter won it in 2010 and wasn't eligible to receive a medal. That is truly one of the most unlucky ways to miss out on the trophy. Anyways, Adrien Dioran is going to represent Vieira in our team, a 59 rated center midfielder with great pace and fantastic physical capabilities will definitely come handy for us later in this video. In the center of defense we got a friend 
Frenchman as well. Laurent Blanc won the World Cup and European Championship with France, but he couldn't get his hands on the biggest domestic trophy. Reaching the semi-finals with United in 2002 was as far as Blanc ever reached in the competition. Jonathan Laporte looks brilliant with 1.3 million market value and 81 to 94 potential. He is a 61 rated center midfielder with unbelievable 86 physicals. We will convert him to a center back and promote to the senior team instantly. Undoubtedly, one of the best strikers this sport has ever produced, the Brazilian phenomenon Ronaldo was extremely successful at both club and international level, winning two Ballon d'Ors and the World Cup of course. However, he never won the UEFA Champions League in his amazing career. More painfully, Ronaldo was at AC Milan in 2007 when they won the trophy, but he was ineligible to receive a winner's medal, having played for Real Madrid earlier that season. That is truly sad. But anyways, we did manage managed to find Piata Gurgel. What is wrong with his Brazilian surnames? I guess we can call this man simply Piata. He has insane 3.4 million market value already at the age of 17, a 66 rated striker. He will be joining person in the center of attack right away. This was the last player we have found in the first season, which we ended only 17th in the league. And you can see why when you look at the individual performances from our players. Let's jump straight into the next season and continue to assemble our squad. Another iconic defender is going to be added to our team. And Juventus past and present FC continues. A 1998 World Cup and Euro 2000 winner with France, Lilian Thuram came closest to winning the UEFA Champions League with Juventus in 2003. But as we already know, Juve lost that night to AC Milan in the penalty shootout. Adrien Guyot is the guy who will be representing Thuram in our team. A 63 rated right footed left back. Let's convert him to a right back and add to the squad immediately. With his addition, we accomplished our first 11, but let's see the players we have found for the bench as well, as we got some crazy ones coming. Like this guy, Mapemba Afrani, 1.5 million market value for Liberian. He is of course going to represent Georges Vea in our team. Vea won the Ballon d'Or in 1995, the year he led PSG to the Champions League semi-final, scoring 7 times, but that was the best he could do. Hopefully Afrani will help us to eventually win the UCL with our fantasy team. We also have this guy, Carl Kuhn, for one of the most unlucky footballers ever. Michael Ballack, who lost the Champions League final twice. He was a key member of the Leverkusen side defeated by Real Madrid in 2002. Six years later, his Chelsea team got defeated by Manchester United on penalties. Next, Oscar Luna is representing Hernan Crespo in our team, who may be quite literally the most unluckiest player in the competition's history. He reached the final with a AC Milan in 2005 and was set to win the trophy after scoring twice against Liverpool, with Milan leading 3-0 at half time. But Liverpool made one of the greatest comebacks in football history, later called the miracle in Istanbul. AC Milan won the UCL two years later, but by then Crespo had already left for the city rivals Inter. Tragically for Crespo, Inter also won the Champions League just a year after Crespo had departed. No, you can't be so unlucky. Unlucky. We got Rodney Wormulan as well. He will represent Dennis Bergkamp in our team, one of the most talented Dutch players ever. We also signed Dexter Woodhouse for Bobby Moore. And last but not least, we have Thomas Rivel, who stands in for Cesc Fabregas. Fabregas lost in the Champions League final with Arsenal in 2006. Then he made a dream transfer to Barca five years later, just a few months after the Blaugranas had won their fourth Champions League crown in 2011, and left Barcelona for Chelsea ahead of 2000. 2014 and 15 season and of course Barca immediately won their fifth Champions League that same season. You can't script that. So we successfully gathered a team of Champions League parlors. Well let's simulate and see whether we can win the ultimate trophy with this team. But for now we did won the EFL League 2 playoffs final and got promoted to the EFL League 1. Persson and Piata were the players with most goal contributions for us. Our players are already in low slash mid 70 range and are truly capable of smashing the EFL League 1 from the first attempt. 
which they absolutely did, recording 109 points and scoring 104 times. And yet another triumph for us this season, as we won BSM trophy as well. This time four players had absolute fun in the league, Person, Piata, Kramer and Duran all had near 30 goal contributions, pretty impressive season by all means. We need to keep this form in the championship as well and got back to back promotions to the Premier League, which apparently we did from the second place with 97 points. Points though. This time Piata was ahead of everybody else with 37 goals for us, fantastic numbers from him. We will need this kind of productivity from all our attacking players to survive the most competitive league in the world, it is not going to be easy. And it was not, but the 10th place right away is a big achievement for our team. But somehow we did even better this season, as we won the Emirates FA Cup, defeating Aston Villa in the final, this means we are going to play Europa League football next season. See what I mean? In, only Piara kept his form and recorded 27 goals. All other players are way behind their best numbers. We need more contributions to guarantee the Champions League football next season. Surprisingly, we successfully managed to do so. Fourth place in the league in second season itself is kinda mad. Yet another trophy to our name. It is Community Shield though. However, we got eliminated from the Europa League early in the round of 16 from Dortmund. Again, Piata with incredible numbers 32 and 0. He does not trust anybody in the team. But as you can see, he won himself the Premier League top scorer award. Next season, let's fight for the Premier League trophy itself. And for that, we need to defeat Premier League Kings Manchester City, which we successfully did and grabbed the Premier League trophy from the third attempt. That is absolutely crazy. But on the contrary, City eliminated us from the Champions League quarterfinals. This time Person and Fabry came close to Piata in terms of individual performances. But anyways, Brazilian was the best again. Whoa, whoa, just look at these stats, cause we were cooking. 104 points in the Premier League, we scored outstanding 120. 12 goals, I'm truly amazed. Okay, now I understand what happened. 49 goals from Piata is fantastic, don't get me wrong, but 46 goal contributions from our two midfielders each, that is something I haven't seen in FC24 ever. But most importantly, we finally made it to the Champions League final, let's check the team which did it. I mean, as you can see our players is not super high rated, yeah of course we have 96 rated Piata and wow 97 rated Battaglia, <laughs> that was a shock. But besides them too, everybody is at that 90 mark. Anyways, let's finally win this Champions League trophy with UCL Butlers. And as we anticipated, Piata Gurgel was the player to score the first goal in this match after a brilliant counter-attack. In the second half, Bjorn Persson attempted to become Zlatan and score from 35 yards, but the keeper was there to deny him. We nearly conceded in the last minute of the game, if not for a great save from Battaglia. He kept his goal safe and can raise the Champions League trophy. Now, if you enjoyed this video, click here to watch me recreate the best ever Real Madrid 11 with Youth Academy players only.